Welcome back, Rich Minds. It's your boy Reno coming back to you with another video. And today's topic is gonna be your enemies are crazy. Yes, sir. Let me say a lot of for my chosen ones in the back. Listen, family, your enemies are crazy. Okay? Now, when I say crazy, y'all, I mean literally crazy. Okay, the stalkers, these are individuals who are having conversations by themselves. These are individuals who clearly don't know their role, know their place, and they are all out of bounds, all right? They don't understand their boundaries. Realize something, y'all. Your enemies are crazy. And so I'm gonna let y'all know how in this video. But as y'all can see, we are outside, y'all, getting the steps in. Okay, a super sunny day in the neighborhood. All right. Felt this work, y'all. Gotta stay walking. Gotta stay going, okay? As y'all can see, y'all, we got the Yes Sir t-shirt in here. So if y'all would like to get one of those Yes Sir t-shirts, y'all make sure y'all hit the link inside my description or the comments or go to richmentalityatire.com. But sticking to the point, y'all, your enemies are crazy, okay? And so... Y'all make sure y'all leave a thumbs up on this video as well as subscribe to the channel. Yes, sir. Not only that, y'all, y'all be sure to ring my bell so y'all can be notified after every single video I post. Number one, y'all, they are obsessed, okay? They are obsessed. They are obsessed with everything that you do. They are obsessed with everything that you say. They are obsessed with the person that you have become or the person that you are becoming, all right? You know, y'all, it gets to a point where you like, why are you in my business as much? Am I interesting? Am I that intriguing? Do I spark your brain that much? Do I bother you this much? Okay, and the question is, y'all, all of that is true. All of that is correct. This little small shade feels so good, y'all. But all of that is correct. They are obsessed with your social media pages. They are obsessed with watching you at work. They are obsessed with everything you do. It seems as if family, everything that you do is being watched on a television screen. Just like, I wanna say his name was Truman, the Truman Show. Um, it was a movie that Jim Carrey was uh, starring in. I think one of his first movies. Not his, not the first movie, but one of his uh, first movies. But what I'm saying is, y'all, he was watched all day, all night in a television show. And everybody in the world knew it but him. They, it was almost like they were obsessed with his lifestyle. They were obsessed with his personality. They were obsessed off of him. And of course, they were making money off of uh, Truman. But the point is, y'all, is that they have that level of obsession with you. <laughs> Somebody drop in the comments and say they are obsessed with me. Yes, sir. Make sure you drop in the comments, family, and say they are obsessed with me, right? You know, and this is not something that we are manifesting because it's already happening. It's already true, okay? They're already doing it. Who are we trying to convince otherwise, right? So with that being said, y'all, once again, family, you gotta realize something. They are very obsessed, very obsessed. Um, moving on to the next one, y'all, is gonna be number two, and that is they're delusional. Yep, this right here is another one, y'all. They are delusional, all right? They're delulu. Okay, somebody drop in the comments and say they delusional. Yes, sir. Make sure you drop in the comments, family, and say they delusional, right? But um, the reason why they are delusional is because they are having conversations by themselves. You're not even responding to them, right? You're not even giving them the time of, uh, of the day. You're not even, you know, showing them that they are important in any way, shape, form, or fashion, all right? And not only that, y'all, but you're just not even taking them serious, okay? Yet they are having conversations by themselves. They are having conversations, you know, just with themselves. Some people are even just sending texts, don't get no response. 
Okay, people calling your phone, no response. All right, people talking about you, no response. I mean, I'm just being honest, y'all. These individuals are very delusional. And so what happens is, y'all, they are seeing things that's not actually there, right? You competing with me, you jealous with me. And you're like, hold on, I'm not jealous of nobody. And I'm only in competition with myself, why? Because I'm trying to make a better me. That's what I'm doing. I'm trying to make a better me. I ain't trying to be a better you. I'm trying to be a better Reno Speech Riches. You trying to be a better whoever, you know, whoever watching. But that's the point, y'all. They are very delusional. They are seeing things that's not there. And they are putting things on you that's not even true, right? They're putting things on you that's not even true. Like I had a situation, y'all, you know, um, with a person and that was basically telling me that I have problems with them. That was basically telling me that, you know, I'm hating on them. Basically saying to me that, you know, I have some type of agenda to them. Now here's the catch 22. I don't even know them. <laughs> I don't even know them. Somebody drop in the comments and say, I don't know you. Yes, sir. Make sure you drop in the comments, family, and say, I don't even know you. Okay? Now, if y'all haven't seen, that was a big old bumblebee. And he looked like he was ready for some honey. Okay? I ain't the honey. But sticking to the point, y'all, people are delusional because they are making problems up in their mind. All right? They are making things up in their head. And you're just not the one for it. Okay? You don't have no problem with nobody and you mind your business and you try to be the best version of yourself, okay? Some people are very delusional. Y'all see the movies, right? Um, i give y'all another example. I just watched a movie that was on Amazon Prime, I wanna say. I just watched a movie on Amazon Prime and um, I forgot, it was, it was about this young couple who had moved into a house and then when they moved in, they had multiple neighbors, but one of the neighbors were actually delusional. And so what happened with the delusional um, lady is she came to their house. She came to, how you doing, sir? Yes, sir. <clears throat> she came to their house and she automatically gave vibes of distrustful. I can't, you know, trust this person. Uh, she came as if she had, you know, hidden motives and agendas, as we always discuss. But what I'm saying is, is that um, when they moved into this apartment or this house, because it was a, it was a nice house, y'all. But the lady um, just kept putting pushing herself onto the uh, woman's husband, and then he pretty much fell for the bait. He didn't have intercourse with her, but what he did was took it too far by leading her on. In her mind, she became delusional. In her mind, she became delulu. She was like, yeah, we had sex, and yeah, you you my you my man, you my husband, right? And he like, hold on, all I did was just get in the pool with you, right? But in her mind, it was something totally different. And so that's just the same way of how your enemies kind of operate, right? They get very delusional. Make up things that's not there tell people that you said things that you've never said okay very delusional um moving on to the next one family is going to be number three and that is hate is destroying them yes sir let me say it louder for my chosen ones in the back listen family hate is destroying them okay now what also says in the scripture y'all that stress causes cancer on the balls, all right? Hate will kill you. Bitterness will hurt you, okay? Oftentimes, y'all, a lot of people have hate in their heart. This is why you gotta stay away from people who have hate in their heart, because they will infect you with toxicity, right? You gotta stay away from people who have hate in their heart, because they will infect you with toxicity, right? I'm sure y'all know this, the breathing. I just came up, well, we just came up this hill, family. Man, <sighs> come get you some. The point is, y'all, you can tell when your enemies are going crazy 
because the hate they have in their heart for you, it's unbearable for themselves. It is unbearable for themselves, okay? And so this is why we pray for them. This is why we don't curse them, right? And in fact, y'all, I wanted to start this video off with a scripture, but I kind of got into my rant. But I'm gonna give it to y'all right now. So 1 Peter chapter 3, verse 9, it says, not returning evil for evil or revealing for revealing, or it may say reviling, but on the contrary, blessing, knowing that you were called to this, that you may inherit a blessing. Yes, sir. Right? I know that yes, sir was like a, <laughs> it's like a gave out of, uh, yeah, right? Uh, but let me say it once again, y'all. First Peter chapter three, verse nine. Um, it says, not returning evil for evil or reviling for reviling, but on the contrary, blessing knowing that you were called to this, that you may inherit a blessing. Okay. So once again, family, even though our enemies are crazy, we don't return crazy for crazy. Even though our enemies or a little Delulu, we don't respond to that. And even though, you know, they may have so much hate in their heart towards us. We don't reciprocate that same hate, all right? In fact, we throw the mirror of love up. Somebody drop in the comments and say, the mirror of love. Yes, sir. Make sure you drop in the comments, family, and say, the mirror of love. Okay, I'm telling y'all, your enemies are crazy. You see their facial expressions at work, right? You see certain people in the family, you know, you see the things that they are making up. You, you haven't even talked to them for some years, okay? But in their mind, they have a problem with you because just because you answered your call and they didn't, they took that personal. Somebody drop in the comments and say, don't take it personal. Yes, sir. Make sure you drop in the comments, family, and say, don't take it personal, all right? This is what they're doing. But anyway, y'all, moving on to the next one which is number four, that is, you give them no reason. Yes, sir. Let me say it louder for my chosen ones in the back. Listen, family, you give them no reason. You give them no reason to act up. You give them no reason to act out. You give them no reason to hate on you. You give them no reason to say anything bad onto you. You just give them no reason. No, I'm not saying that you're perfect. No, I'm not saying that you are the end all be all. You, you God's angel. I'm not saying that. But what I am saying is you mind your business, okay? You do what you got to do for you, okay? You're not putting people in position, all right, to even have anything to say about you. And that's what makes them mad. <laughs> I, had to, I had to make that use turn, y'all, because it's, it's that loud truck back there, as y'all can see. Very loud. I'm not complaining for those who be in the comments talking about me. He walked by cars and he is complaining. I'm just letting y'all know, family. That's it. Right? But sticking to the point, y'all, um, you give them no reason, and this is why they try to find a reason. Okay? You give them no reason. This is when you try to find one, or this is when they try to find one. I seen a video, y'all, on, uh, I want to say it was Facebook, Instagram, and basically they were making a joke about how black parents be. <laughs> but let me, let me tell y'all. So basically, uh, what happens is the uh, the black parents, they always be like, hey, did you take, now here go that truck coming behind us. That's crazy. And he's backing up. It's the enemy, y'all. That is the enemy, y'all. But it's all good, though. It's all good. You know what? We're going to run away from him. Yeah, y'all. I had to go ahead and cut that for a second. Right? I may, I may not even edit it out, y'all. I may just let it be what it is. So y'all can see how the enemy works. Okay? But anyway, um, yeah, family, you don't give them a reason. And whenever you don't give a person a reason, 
they have no choice but to act out of emotion. They have no choice but to allow the enemy to work through them just so he can get to you. And it's never going to happen. It's not going to work, y'all. Okay? But anyway, y'all, getting to the last one, which is number five, and that is they are at war with themselves. Okay? They are at war with themselves. This is why your enemies are crazy. Because they are fighting mental wars. Right? Now, I'm not saying nobody got to go to the mental institution. I'm not saying that nobody is, you know, slow. I'm just saying that they have their own mental wars. Right? And although everybody's mental uh, health is important, it's not your responsibility. Right? Like, my mental health is important. Your mental health is important. And, you know, sadly, they say, but your enemy's mental health is important as well. But it's not your responsibility, you know. And so, you know, you can't lose peace, family, you know, over people fighting their own wars. You just can't. Because what people do is they tend to project that onto you. They tend to, you know, bring that mental chaos to you. They tend to make certain things, you know, appear that's not even true. All right. Just because they are fighting their own mental wars. Just because this truck is following me everywhere we go, family. Everywhere we go. But it's all good. All right. Um, sticking to the point, family. They are at war with themselves, which means don't allow them to make you lose any peace. Don't allow them to make you lose any sleep. Okay. Don't allow it. Because at the end of the day, y'all, it gives them the satisfactory to know that they have brought you into their miserable world. It gives them the satisfactory to know that they have, you know, succeeded at bringing your day down. And this is what we're not going to do, y'all. Right? Somebody drop in the comments and say, God will prevail us. Yes, sir. Make sure you drop in the comments, family, and say, God will prevail us. All right? But with that being said, y'all, that's going to be today's scroll. Um... We're going to go ahead and do this recap, and then we'll conclude the video. Number one, y'all, they are obsessed. Obsessed with what you smell like, what you look like, what you do, what you feel like. The whole nine, y'all, right? Number two, they are delusional. They are making problems where they don't exist. They are creating problems where there are no problems, all right? And that's a big problem, right? Somebody drop in the comments and say, that's a big problem. Number three, hate is destroying them. Hate is destroying them, okay? Um, family, stress causes cancer on the bones. Number four, you give them no reason, yet they're gonna still try to find a reason. And number five, y'all, they are at war with themselves. Once again, y'all, we're not gonna allow a person who don't have peace on the inside to make you not have peace externally, all right? But as y'all can see, once again, family, it's been a good stroll. We're going to go ahead and get up out of here. Appreciate y'all tuning in. If y'all would like, y'all can always get one of these Yes Sir t-shirts. As y'all see, uh, enroll into my social influence course. Book a one-on-one -on -one session with me. If y'all got some individual personal problems, y'all can always trust me. I'm a family member. I'm your brother. I'm your friend. Okay. I'm your cousin uncle to some people right but the point is y'all you can book a one-on-one -on -one session with me and last but not least y'all you can get any one of my books hit the link inside the description y'all i'm gonna catch y'all in the next video y'all keep a rich mentality peace what's good family it's your boy reno check this out y'all i just dropped my social influence course okay where i'll show you how to build up your social media platform as well as become a self published author understand what i'm saying y'all if you want to leverage your expertise okay you gotta publish your book but not only that if you want to get popping and build your community you gotta build up your social media platform and so i put that all in one course okay and so all you got to do is go to the link in my bio all right and drop in the comments social influence if you want to build up your social influence click that link in the bio and we're gonna get you popping keep a rich mentality